Sentinel Nathan sir, Director in Charge, UGC, HRD Center, and Professor, Department of Educational Technology, Bharati Dashan University, Trichy. Welcome, sir. Thank you. Thank you, madam. Thank you. Professor, I'm joining. You, joining to welcome you. Thank you. Thank you, sir. Thank you. I extend my hearty welcome to today's session speaker and our special chief guest, Dr. Esubasri, madam. Professor and Head of the Department, Computer Science and Engineering, Nehru Institute of Engineering and Technology. Ma'am, welcome, ma'am. Thank you, thank you, ma'am. Okay. Thank you. And uh, thank you, ma'am. Thank you. And I welcome for the today event coordinator, Mr. V. Satishwaran, sir. Welcome, sir. Thank you, ma'am. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. And now very happy to extend my hearty welcome to all the head of the departments and all the internal and external participants from various institutions. Welcome all. Thank you for joining us for the two days workshop. I once again extend my hearty welcome to, to each and every one of you to this wonderful program. Thank you all. Have a nice day and be safe. Over to Ashik. Thank you, Gita, ma'am, for a wonderful welcome address. I hope all our participants are very happy and excited to join us for this wonderful program. Uh, now, I request our below principal, sir, Dr. M. Sir, to deliver the presidential address. Sir, uh, sir yeah, please. Thank you, Ajit. So, with the blessings of our uh, chairman, thank you, sir. Dr. Krishnadas, sir, and our CEO and secretary, Dr. Krishna Kumar, sir. I would like to thank the organizers for providing me the opportunity to deliver this presidential address in this today's workshop on e-content creation and ICT tools for innovative teaching learning process. So I really, uh, first I would like to uh, thank the today's speakers, uh, Dr. Uh, Sindhil Nathan sir, Director in Church, UCC, UGC HRD Center, from Bharatasan University. Thank you so much, sir, for accepting our invitation. Uh, and uh, well, next, sir, I'd like to, yeah, yes, sir. So next, I'd like to uh, welcome and thank um, another speaker of today's session, uh, Dr. Subhasri, ma'am, from uh, NIET. Uh, welcome, ma'am. Thank you, ma'am. Thank so, you, sir. Thank you, sir. So uh, really, I appreciate the computer science and engineering department I have chosen a very right topic that is e-content development and what are the ICT tools which are available for the perfect teaching learning process in online. So it is a need of the web. Already we have started uh, 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 ICT tools and the e-content development and uh, ICT teaching learning process, so all the institutions have started this, but still we need to know a lot of things in the e-content development as well as the ICT tools. Because these are uh, not a uh, single uh, discipline, so it, is a new, it may be a new discipline, but everyone, so all the teachers and students should know about this e-content development as well as ICT pro, uh, tools. For example, if you want to develop e-content development, uh, there are several phases and several points to be considered while we are developing e-content. So when you have the first phase is e-content development. So when you are uh, planning to develop e-content, first of all, we have to know the what, what are the teaching methodology we are going to adopt in this process because they are interlinked. So first, for example, if you are planning for the theory subjects, then we should prepare the e-content in a different style. And if you are going to teach the mathematics subject, the e-content development in a different style. So these two things are interlinked. So e-content, course content, as well as the teaching methodology. So based on the teaching methodology, we have to develop the course content. Based on the course content, we are going to develop, we, are, we have to plan the teaching methodology that this these two things are interlinked so you should concentrate on both the things initially and then very important one is uh, I, in my point is so a very important one is even though we are planned for very good uh, e-content and um, we can um, uh, plan our teaching methodology well 
very important thing is how you are going to connect those content to the learners that is the user interface so it is very important but for example for today's meeting i thought it was it will be happened in google meet but um, when i opened the message it is on that it is go to meeting so i was struggled to get into the meeting so that user interfaces process so, uh, because uh, instead of um, concentrating on the learning process, what learners will do like, okay what is this what is the interface they are using so the concentration will go in that side so it's like that better you can have very good user interface and should be taught pre at the areas to the learners so that user interface is very much important uh, while you are planning the e content sorry um, e learning uh, e teaching learning process and then fourth one uh, i'm actually i uh, insist there's a the e learning environment so environment should be very pakka so how we are going to engage the learners that is important okay so uh, even you can plan a very good content you can uh, plan a very good methodology you can, will have the very good uh, interface but the learning for the e learning environment is poor so everything will be spoiled so we need to concentrate on on four important things one is the e content how we are going to develop the e content and then second one is how we are going to plan the teaching methodology for that particular e content and what type of user interface we are going to adopt for this teaching learning process and fourth one is how we are going to make the learning environment as a effective one so these four things are important i it's my point of view and then uh, uh, i i already speakers are available here uh, very experts in this uh, e learning content development as well as ict tools they are going to deliver a very good lectures on this so i uh, request um, uh, all the faculty members of uh, our neuro institute of technology should attend without fail these two days are very important because so already we have initiated this um, uh, e learning content development as well as the uh, ict tools for the uh, teaching learning process so we are going to implement 100% in our institute so our management is very kind enough and magnanimous to provide such a facilities already we got the interactive boards for our institute so they are going to be installed in all the classrooms and the teaching methodology the teaching style we are going to follow is entirely different here after so i request all the faculty members of neuro institute of technology should attend this workshop for next two days and learn what speakers are telling about the econ and development as well as the ict tools so there are um, very important uh, phases which are available in the econ and development itself so first we have to analyze what the subjects you are going to talk and uh, we have to answer it on the design so first of all we have to analyze the things and then design the content and then you have to develop the content and you have to test before implementing so testing is very important you have to correct the spellings audio free um, accuracy video accuracy and all that so testing phase is very much important once you develop the econ we can't go for directly for the teaching learning process so before that we got to test the content with your friends or your experts or your teachers colleagues etc so testing is very important and then we are going for the implement phase and finally very much important is the evaluation phase so we should know about the effectiveness of the e content development that is more important for example everyone the outcome is more important for example we are conducting these two days workshop for all the fact nearly 107 participants are joining here is a huge number uh, so we need to identify what is the outcome of this program so for everything we need to identify the outcome we have to evaluate the outcome we have to evaluate the effectiveness of that particular program as well as a particular tool so that's my request so um, i really i congratulate our dean dr sakthivel sir for taking a wonderful initiative as a dean academic affairs he is taking a lot of interest on making the econ development and uh, as well as the icd tools in our institute so i hope uh, this workshop today's workshop will be very much useful for all the participants from our institute our uh, sister institutions as well as the other particip participants from outside colleges so once again i would like to uh, thank the today's speakers for accepting our invitation and thanks to the organizers for providing me the opportunity to deliver this presential address thank you so much thanks for the opportunity
thank you sir thank you so much sir for your valuable words i also take this opportunity to thank you for your strong support and care that which has given to us and without you this would not be possible sir and thank you for your four fillers that you have given for the development of e contents and i think you have given a syllabus for the ongoing program that will be happening for this thank you sir now i am delighted to humbly request our below dean academic affairs dr n k shaktivel sir to for the felicitation address sir please yeah thank you arthik thank you very happy morning thank you sir to all participants as it to our uh, speaker senior professor coming from varai dasan university thank you sir first of all i would like to thank most respected chairman and managing trustee of our neru group of institution dr p krishna das sir our most respected c1 secretary of our neru group of institutions dr p krishna kumar sir and our vibrant and the dynamic principal of our neru institute of technology dr shivaraja sir all leaders of our neru group of institutions and the neru institute of technologies jointly engaging all our faculty members to perform like anything so that all our students and all benefit even parents and all very happy to understand numerous activities numerous technical programs webinars and various sessions are going on which is helping our students it is a great opportunity and in this session our most respected professor sedinathan sir director hrd center and senior professor department of education Te education technology varadasan university highly accepted to share his ideas experiences and the knowledge to our participants it is a great great opportunity to our all participants particularly Uh, all our nit faculty as well as from entire india more participants are joined so uh, in this registration i noticed that and i was told that 500 plus participants registered and 250 participants this morning shown interest to join even now i am getting thank you sir even now i am getting different messages whatsapp messages stating that i am able to join so uh, we do not know what the technical problems but this uh, go to uh, meeting is allowing us to join 250 participants so given our most respected principal sir faced a small practical challenge to joining so due to uh, we usually using what is called the google meet but today we used to go to meeting the purpose is go to meeting will allow us to 250 participants whereas in the google meeting we can get the maximum 100 participants that is the reason why we sit there and our most uh, very good and sincere head of the department of computer science engineering professor geeta madam professor nithya madam and professor sadish varan jointly helped our department to conduct this session very happily our principals are mentioned very clearly what is the primary objective of this session i considered this is a whatsapp as well as faculty development program so that is e content creation and ict tools for innovative teaching and learning this is a very very important one during the pandemic situation it is very very clear that our students and all unable to meet our senior professors because if they have opportunity to discuss with the senior professors definitely they will gain knowledge they will gain practical skills and definitely it will help to demonstrate their knowledge and the skills to the industry so this is the right forum through this uh, meet and all so that is our students our participants gaining knowledge from expertise as far as this session is concerned we focusing flipped classroom so thing is our students will learn the entire concept at their home at their comfortable time and they will try to answer the questions which you posted through the videos by experts and not only that they develop the model during a designing a model if they have doubt and all then they will approach what is called our experts later on for clearing their doubts so this is a great idea olden days 
so we had what is called uh, classroom teaching only which is a practical problem whenever faculty available our students can learn then after that so at home if they are studying and if they have any doubt they cannot clarify their doubt so that the current technology under the flipped classroom it is helping a participant as well as a student to learn lot of things so that is the reason why this workshop focus how they advertise the subject advertise can create a fantastic and a wonderful interactive videos so that the participants and the watching students can understand the concept very clearly even they can get animation so that with the 100% practical knowledge they can understand the concept that is the reason why we are encouraging all our faculty members to create a great and a wonderful e content uh, what is called material so that it will help our students. that is the primary objective so i don't want to make articles because our experts are available i would like to uh, my dear participants please interact with our our speaker get the knowledge and okay you can be benefit there the entire video will be launched in our youtube channel our institute youtube channel so whenever you want it you can watch and you can develop your skills i once again thank our most respected principal sir for providing this opportunity and again i thank most respected professor sendinathan sir because when i contacted him immediately sir accepted the so senior professor the through ugc numerous sessions sir conducting i know very well with the very tight and hectic schedule sir happily accepted respected sir we are extremely happy on behalf of our management on behalf of our principals and myself or through our participants we are happy you thank you very much sir it is well i would like to thank you thank you thank you thank you thank you thank you, thank you. thank you so much sir for the felicitation and i would like to thank you for your effort and ever flowing support and care that you have given to make all these events a possible one and i would like to reveal that he is the driving force of not only our department but also our college for all these innovations and all those program he with permission from our principal sir is making and bringing our department to Level of learning and teaching experiences. Thank you both, Principal Sir and Dean Sir. Now it's time to have a small introduction about the workshop. Uh, total, we have planned for sessions. We'll be having two days today and tomorrow. And today we will have two sessions. The first session is about importance and goals of e-content generation framework, and what, why, and how. And will be handled by Dr. S. Sendil Kumar. Sorry, S. Sendil Nathan Sir. and the second session is about online collaborative web tool for innovative teaching and learning and will be handled by dr s subhashree ma'am now i request mrs l nithya ma'am assistant professor department of computer science and engineering to propose the vote of thanks thank you ashik a very happy morning to one and all present thank here thankfulness is the beginning of gratitude gratitude is the completion of thankfulness thankfulness may consist merely of words gratitude is shown in acts it makes sense of our past brings peace for today and creates a vision for tomorrow it's my great privilege to deliver the vote of thanks for this two days national level workshop on e content creation and ict tools for innovative teaching and learning organizing by department of computer science and engineering Negri Institute of Technology, Coimbatore. First of all, I would like to thank our most honourable CEO and Secretary, Dr. P. Krishna Kumar, and most respected Managing Trustee, Dr. P. Krishna Das, for supporting us to organise this two days national level workshop. Thank you, sirs. I would like to extend my thanks to our beloved principal, sir, Dr. M. Sivaraja, Negri Institute of Technology, for his encouragement to conduct this workshop. Thank you, sir. Next, I extend my sincere thanks to our dynamic personality, also one of the resource person of today's workshop, Dr. N. K. Shaktivel, D. Academic Affairs, for his motivation to organize this wonderful event.
thank you sir thank you ma'am thank you ma'am next my special thanks to our today's first session resource person and chief guest dr s sandil nadan director in charge ugc hrd center professor department of educational technology baridasan university tirupalli for accepting our invitation and for spending his valuable time thank you sir thank you very much madam next i extend my sincere thanks to dr s subhashri head computer science and engineering negru institute of engineering and technology and professor yagita head department of computer science and engineering negru institute of technology for their moral support thank you ma'am i would like to extend my thanks to our program coordinator professor v satish varan assistant professor for arranging this two days national level workshop thank you sir and also thank my sins and also my sins my and also my sincere thanks to heads of various departments faculty members participants from various institutions and my dear students thank you all once again thank you each and everyone for your contribution thank you have a nice day